So I currently have the newer batteries and charger, the newer light that runs off their batteries, the newer 7 inch field monitor which I would be using if I wasn't making this video, and the battery grip for the GH5. This is the newer gimbal. Same in the damn screen. This is the newer gimbal. As for the tripod, I've already done a video over this. If you look up somewhere over there, there'll be a link to this video. So a lot of people like this thing and a lot of people dislike it. Me, I love it. I'm down here in South Texas. A lot of people up north don't like it. And the reason is the grease that's packed into it is really thick and really sticky. And so in colder temperatures, that grease thickens up and this gets really hard and stiff to move. Where I'm at, it's like 90 plus degrees here. So this thing moves freely, nice and fluid. And I've read that some people, some people have told me that they've taken it apart, which is real simple. It's just a screw through the bottom. They take it apart and they wipe off all the grease. Get away from me. They take it apart and they wipe off all the grease and then they put a lighter grease like wheel bearing grease or ball joint grease or something like that on it. And that, that helps them out up north in the colder temperatures. Another factor is the weight of the camera you're putting on it. If you're putting a very light camera, of course it's gonna feel stiff. But if you put a heavy camera, a heavier camera, obviously the GH5 is not heavy by far. If you put a heavier camera on here, it's real smooth. And then the next factor is, what are you using it for? Are you using it for photos or are you using it for video? Me, I use it mainly for video and occasionally pictures. And either way, I love it. When you get it, you're gonna get it in two pieces. This piece and this piece. This piece slides on here and you lock it down. You want to put the center axis of this with the center axis of your lens. That way, you're actually rotating up and down and not doing like this. You want it to do this not this. After that, using it is very smooth and very fluid. So the way it rotates this way and the way it rotates this way, you can adjust the tension by turning these knobs or you can just lock it down in place anywhere you want it. I like to keep them just a little bit of friction so it slows it down a little, but I can move it real smooth and real fluid. This one, I leave it kind of stiff so I'm not all jumpy and jerky when I'm moving. Just enough that I can pan and have control of the camera and keep everything smooth. So this is the metal one from Neewer, and they also have a carbon fiber one. The only issue I have with this thing is that I have it on a very light tripod, and when I carry this tripod, all the weight's down there. When I carry it, it feels like the, the head is heavier than the tripod itself. See? It just wants to tip. That's the balance point. Other than that, I have no complaints. If you're considering spending the $79 to get one of these, I highly recommend it, especially if you don't have a gimbal or you've never used one. I've had a lot of people tell me this looks just like their Wimberly, with the exception of this bubble level, which has absolutely no use at all on this other than to protect them from copyright. Like, what are you gonna level with this? So I'm out here getting some panning shots to show you a demonstration, and there's two things I forgot to mention in the previous segment there. It comes with this little Arca Swiss plate, um, sure, this will get you started, but I recommend getting a longer one, a much longer one. I didn't even find it adequate for either of my camera lenses. On my D500, only half of it was in the clamp just to keep the lens balanced. So there's not much grab there, and I was afraid that it could have fallen out. So I def definitely recommend getting a much longer uh, Arca Swiss plate. Second thing was that people said they had an issue with theirs wobbling at the base, and mine doesn't have that. And my suggestion is if you get one that wobbles the base, return it. It does have free returns and get another one. I did read a review where one guy took his apart and added a washer as a shim to clear up any free play that he had, but I don't know. Mine don't have that problem. So here you can see the longer plate that I added to my uh, D500 and you can see that's the screw where it would screw in. So this thing would only be that far into the clamp. And the wobble that people were talking about was down here. And I don't have it, I'm shaking the whole tripod. So next I'm just gonna pan up and down and left and right and then just move to various objects and show you how smooth it is. So if you've never used a gimbal, or maybe this is gonna be your first and you're curious about it and you don't wanna spend a lot, I highly recommend this one. 
it's very affordable it's metal it's not like it's gonna break and your camera's gonna fall off or anything i'm willing to bet that the the wimberley's probably a much better gimbal but for the price of the newer you can't beat it so i hope you enjoyed this review if you like this video like this video if you want to see more subscribe for more thanks for watching so i just want to apologize for taking so long to make this video um i promised this thing like back in last october something like that and life kind of got in the way and then i kind of thought nobody would be interested in actually seeing it i'm a small youtuber i have almost no subscribers um and little to my surprise at least once every month somebody sent me a message asking where this video was when am i going to make it well thank you everybody for watching my videos and i'm sorry i took so long but here it is i highly recommend it if you want to see me try out the carbon fiber one uh comment below because i'm curious about it and if enough people want to see a review over it i'll do it thank you for watching